this week on Buck Commander. This time of year, we all seem to be scattered all over the country. Jordan, I'm just run down this year, dead gum. You've got to be really patient and pick and choose your spots from where to go sit. That's just a good old stud eight pointer. You know, hunting with Luke is always a blast. I know whenever I get my Savage out, the weather is starting to get cooler. You are feeling it, son. Nine year old, beat all the 50 year olds. Taking off on our yearly trip to the Wallahatchie in Oklahoma. I got my son, my dad coming with me. Kind of a yearly tradition that we go out there for three or four days, take the savage out, and uh, usually turns out pretty good. Red dirt and scrub brush everywhere. That's how I describe the Wallahatchie. This is a lot of glassing from long distances. It's almost like a, a mule deer hunt where you've got to be really patient and pick and choose your spots from where to go sit. So Rochi and I climb up into what is known as the owl blind. We've had a little history up here. Rat bones everywhere. You're standing in three inches of rat bones. I need to replace this with a redneck soon. This is pathetic. We haven't even got set up yet, and I look out 150 yards, and there's a really nice deer walking right towards us. Mikey's to my left, scrambling to get the camera set up. This blind is solid metal, so everything's banging, making noise. We make the decision, we're gonna to try to kill this deer. And he comes in and beds down at probably 60 yards. Did he just lay down? Now we're in a waiting game. one of those mornings when everything is going wrong. I'm talking everything. days where I wake up and go, I don't even know why I'm going to be out there, but I'm going to be out there. I'm pretty much resigned to the fact that I'm not going to kill a buck. Drinking coffee, playing brick breaker. I'm drinking coffee. Coughing. Coughing. I got the sniffles. <sighs> just kind of, you know, Jordan, I'm just run down this year. Dead gum. Run down. I've been getting after it, son. Big buck, big buck, big buck. Right here, right here, right here. Whoa, whoa, easy, easy. Come right at us. Very easy. Get up there. 
I guess the real cure for the common cold is shooting a big buck. Like my old man said, you shoot a duck, you shoot a deer, you gotta act like you've been there. You know, you raise up, big buck walks out, boom. Especially when it's all of 10 seconds. So anyway, I had been preaching for years that I needed to get some of the buck men down to Georgia and uh, try out some South Georgia deer hunting. And Willie has always really kind of busted my chops about there being no big deer in South Georgia. So this trip, we set out to prove Willie wrong. I jumped a little bit, I think. Yeah, that was bad. That was real bad. So I'm laying down some footage of this buck. It's slowly coming into range. And what's it do? Bed's down on us. Down, but still he can see us. We thought he was making a scrape, but he was just cleaning out a bed and laying down right here in a thicket. This deer's bedded down, and I look over to my right, out comes another shooter. Now we got a decision to make. Do we take the deer that's on his feet, a great buck coming in, or do we wait the deer out that's bedded down, unsure of what he's gonna do? Here he comes, walking right in front of us. Way too tempting, had to take him. Fifty yard chip shot, first deer with my Savage, a gun that I got to go custom build with the boys. That's just a good old stud eight pointer with some very healthy mass. Icing on the cake, I had my son and my dad there to celebrate with us. Uh, check him out, Greg. This is one of the quickest hunts I've ever been on. Get the camera almost ready, the deer comes in, it's over as quick as it started. I'm done. Quick hunt at the Wallahatchee. Let's go. Now it's Drake's turn. Jordan, come here, big boy. First kill with the Savage, and what I like about the Fusion ammo is I don't have to walk very far. It's either him or it's another deer that just passed away. <laughs> this is my favorite part. Finally got my hands on this sucker, and let me tell you, he is a toad. What a stud boy you are. Look at this. On days like this, when everything looks like it's gonna be wrong, sometimes it turns out right. Never gets old, boys, it never gets old. Well, since I shot this deer so fast, I was able to send Jordan to catch up with Lange in Texas to get on a big mule deer. Well, it's late November going on early December and brought the Savage 300 wind mag out with us and it's rifle season for these muleys up here and it's a short rifle season up here in Texas and we got some great weather this week. It's cold, clear, 
might have a little bit of weather move in later in the week, but the bucks are starting to chase the does a little bit too, which is different. Last time we were here, they were bachelored up. Fortunately for us, we don't have to try to get quite as close. We can let the savage do its work. Fortunate enough, uh, get to hang out with a couple buddies this week. Uh, Kyle Park, a Texas country singer, is able to join us this week. Kyle's been a very successful country musician here in the state of Texas, and he found time to get a break in his busy touring schedule to get up here and chase mule deer. Kyle's a very avid hunter who shares a passion with us, loves to be out any free chance he gets when he's not having to play honky-tonks around the state of Texas. Matt. Oh, good shot, buddy. He's down. <laughs> Boom. KP with a knockdown. Man, my first mule deer was a, was a beaut. It was such a cool hunt. All right, KP. Buck down. That's the coolest thing. I mean, I know it's not a world record mule deer. Not too shabby. The truth is that that was one of the most extreme hunts I've been on. I mean, walking over a mile and the conditions we were walking, I'll never forget this hunt, man. Being with Clint and with Larry and Ryan, everybody. A lot of fun. Yeah. It's fun hunting with the Buck Commanders for sure. Yeah. It's been a blast. I tried to tell Drake, I said, Drake, there's a hundred whitetail for every mule deer. Chances of killing a mule deer out here are pretty slim. Well, you got to either tag whitetail or muley. Yeah. And you want to kill a whitetail? Nope. You want to kill a muley. Five on that one. The only reason he wants a mule deer is because he knows I have never killed one. It's really windy outside and uh... I don't think there's going to be anything out there, but I hope there is. Tomorrow, I have a really good chance. Of... Don't drink in the middle of the interview. Why not? Not right in the middle. Tomorrow's going to be a good chance. I'm going to kill something. So we're just waiting it out. Give me five on that one. What? Give me five on that, on that interview. That was awesome. We're jacking around in the blind. Drake looks out the window, turns around, and says, there's a buck. Let's go. He's, I think he's headed way to yes, the Yes, sir. We're going to go sneak up on him. Let's go. Let's do this thing. We had a pretty good idea where he was going. He was headed towards the alfalfa. Let's get out, move as fast as we can, Just try to stay behind the hills and hopefully cut them off. Wait for me, follow right behind me. There's a monster mule deer out here. Stay right behind me. Sir. Let him get broadside. Okay. Right behind his shoulder. Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> that big sucker. Oh. The deer you've been wanting. <laughs> Let me try. Holy cow. Oh, look at my kid. You all right? Yeah. You gonna make it? Yeah. <laughs> Just leveled this mule deer. Absolutely leveled him. You killed a big mealy before I have. Do you understand that? Yeah. You're gonna pay for that. That may cost you a Christmas present. Wallahatchie, huge success. Got to kill a good deer. Drake got to kill a big mule deer. Oh. My dad was there to witness both of them. It couldn't have gone any better. Well, 
I gotta give him credit. He killed a mule deer before I did. First buckman to kill a mule deer too. I thought dad was my lucky charm. Now I'm gonna have to bring both these guys every year. First muley for buck commander. Nine year old beat all the 50 year olds. Oh, you're gonna get cocky about it, huh? Yeah. Oh gosh. You get cocky about it, huh? You think you're a big shot now? Did you killed a muley? You know, hunting with Luke is always a blast. He's kind of a uh, scatterbrain, busy bee. We're in a uh, winter little, uh, in a little pine bottom. He's always got something going on in his head, but you never know exactly what he's thinking of, because when he does speak, he can't finish his sentences. Oh yeah, um, Tompo's here. Hunting with him is great. You know, we're in his hometown of Leesburg. It's gotta be at least 28, 29 now, so it's, things are looking up. It's freezing cold that morning, windy. We want to get this done as soon as we can. Just buck, buck right there. And this deer steps out at about 80 yards. Yeah, that deer's at least four years old. I'm telling you, before that buck hit the ground, he was already dead. Yeah, baby. <laughs> savage don't play. Pulled the trigger on that Savage, and it looked like he took an uppercut from Mike Tyson. I mean, blistered his behind. <laughs> Look at the head on this dude. Shoot, yeah. Well, we got this big joker spotted up here on this ridge. There's actually two good bucks on the ridge. We're gonna head after the one on the right. He's a little wider, you know, looks like he's got a little bit better beams. And I just hope we can get within a couple hundred yards of him, get a shot off. It's gonna be a pretty good hike across there. We're gonna have to get down, get down and go across this creek. We got a great wind. Wind's coming out of the northwest and the buck's heading pretty much due north. Feel good about it. Hopefully we can get this done. Well, I wanted to creep up to the top of this hill and peek into the bowl on the other side just to get an idea of what it looked like and if that was the bowl we thought our buck was in. When you get to right here, get low. Well, I get up to the top of the hill and glass the bowl and I don't see anything at first glance. Come on up. As I turn back around, I hear something and our buck is up and he's bouncing up towards the horizon. just got up, he's heading up that ridge, right up towards the fence line. And before I know it, Jordan's up there, has the camera set up, and he's ready for the shot. Take your time, buddy. I got it. That's when the emotions come pouring out. <gasps> Give me some, Jordy. <laughs> we dropped him right in his tracks. You came up and you said, I'm on him. And then I, was, I said, I'm not. I, I was actually, I was on him, but I was sitting there. Those crosshairs were doing this number right there. And I'm like, because I was worried. I knew, I knew there was a chance he could bolt at any minute. I couldn't wait to head up there and check the sucker out and put my hands on that rack. There he is. Oh, 
on. Second savage kill of the year. He got us a nice muley. He got us the big horn a couple months ago. Drake beat me to it, but uh, but now that's two muleys for the Buckman this year and and counting. 